Okay, so now we will be discussing about um, pound force, pound mass, kilogram force, and kilogram mass. And what are the constants of proportionality between those masses? For example, if you are going to convert uh, pound force to pound mass or kilogram force to kilogram mass, what are the constants or what is our conversion factor? Okay, so pound force... Pound force. So the the symbol for pound force is usually is one. So that is the symbol for pounds with a subscript of F. Okay. Then we have also pound mass. So pound mass. So the symbol for pound mass is the pound symbol subscript of M. Then we have also kilogram force. The symbol for that is symbol for kilogram, then uh, subscript of F. Then we have kilogram mass. Then the subscript for that is kilogram with the uh, subscript the symbol for that is kilogram with the subscript of M okay so for example we will go back to our Newton second law so we have F is equal to mass times acceleration so we're in we're gonna find the the value of our K because we will have a constant in this one because they are proportional okay so we could say that our um, K so we have here over this is over K because that is the constant of proportionality okay so we could say that it's just raise first our K below Okay, so we could say that K is equal to MA over F. Okay, now if we will do an analogy of this one. Okay, so if our acceleration due to gravity or the weight of the body, so our formula will become so if our a is equal to g so the acceleration is equal to the acceleration due to gravity so our formula this formula will become k is equal to mj over mg over f wherein our our g is equal to 32.174 feet per second squared that is in English system or is equal to 9.8066 meters per second squared that is in the metric or the SI system. Okay, so if you are going to do this one, okay, so if you are now going to have the unit for, um, let's just have the new brown, pound force and pound mass. So we could say that our K is equal to MJ over F. So the, our, this will be a per unit analysis. So our mass will be one pound force, uh, pound mass, excuse me, that will be pound mass. Then the acceleration due to uh, gravity is 32.174 feet per second squared. And our force will be one pound force, okay? So we could have our K equal to 32.174 pound mass 
uh, pound mass feet per uh, pound force second squared. So that is our K for pound force and pound mass. Now for our kilogram force and kilogram mass, So we could say also, let's just change the color, we'll have blue. Okay, so for um, for our K, so K is equal to MJ over F. So our K is equal to, so this will be equal to, the mass is 1 kilogram mass times the acceleration due to gravity, this will be 9.8. 066 meters per second squared all over it is just all over force will be one kilogram force so our k is equal to is equal to 9.8066 kilogram meter a kilogram mass meter per kilogram okay, kilogram force second squared so that will be the constant constant k for kilogram force and kilogram mass so we could say that this one is our FPS system this is our MKS okay then let's just have also our CGS okay so CGS so CGS that will be in gram mass and gram force okay so this will be our CGS. So our K MG over F. So let's just clarify our J, our G. So our M is one kilogram mass times G, which is um, must be in centimeter per second squared. So converting the nine point eight zero sixty six meter per second square so we just multiply that by 100 so that will become 980.66 centimeter per second squared over so over one kilogram force okay and one and this will be our k will be equivalent to 980.66 kilogram mass centimeter over kilogram for second squared and that will be our k for cgs okay now let's compare the K in our previous topic and this topic. So for example, if we will be considering the 2 FPS, so for example, FPS, let's just have some uh, space for that. Okay, so for example, we have, we need to find the equivalent between pound force and that will be pound force and the unit the FPS unit for um, for force will be the equivalent is pound mass okay pound mass so we will use the value of K. So the K will be 32.174 um, pound mass 
feet over pound force second squared. So that will be the relationship. So let's just try to clarify our K. Then we will have slug to pound mass. Okay. If we will try to convert this one, so we could say that the K in terms of slug is equal also to the K in terms of pound mass because they are all constant of proportionality. So going back to our K, so our K for pound mass in terms of uh, for K of for our um, K for our slug. So that would be equal to one slug meter over pound force second squared. Okay. So let, let me check first my notes. Okay, so this is correct. And our K for pound mass, so this will be equal to 32.174 pound mass feet over pound force second squared. So we could cancel, this is not meters but this is feet. So we could cancel this one, the second squared. We could also cancel our pound force and our feet. So we're left with the uh, equivalence of one slug is equal to 32.174 pound mass and this is the conversion factor in converting pound a slug into pound mass now let's try to convert um, newton to maybe newton to kilogram force Okay, so Newton to kilogram force. So let's just uh, the K for Newton. So this will be the K for Newton is equal to the to the K for kilogram force. This will be one kilogram mass. This will be in meters all over. Uh, this is. Newton second squared so equal to this will be equal to 9.8066 kilogram mass meter kilogram force second squared so we could cancel our second squared in both sides this answer also the mass kilogram mass and kilogram mass will left with 1 over Newton is equal to 9.806 over kilogram force so we will uh, transfer the the variable in both the units in both sides of the equation so we will have 1 kilogram force is equal to 9.8066 Newton okay so this is the conversion factor for kilogram force to newton and lastly we will go to dynes so we will go to dyne to gram force or gram force to dyne either way okay so we our k is still equal to each other so we could say that one gram mass centimeter is equal to uh, one so this will go to one dyne uh, second squared is equal to uh, this is 980.66 kilogram mass centimeter all over gram for second squared
then so we could now um, cancel could cancel this one this one this one the centimeter the ground mass we're left with one over nine is equal to 980.66 over gram force so transferring the weight in both sides of the equation so we could have one gram force is equal to 980.66 dine and this will be another conversion factor okay so this next topic we will be talking about quantity or quantity which is also useful in thermodynamics the quantity of acceleration thank you for watching